Our next video on our polymers is going to be about um, nucleic acids. And nucleic acids will actually probably be the smallest flowchart that you'll see in all of the lectures that we do in General Biology 115, simply because at this point, you're going to actually learn about nucleic acids in its own lecture altogether. So we'll talk about them very briefly, just see what our notes mention to us, nucleic acids, and these are also considered polymers. And they are considered polymers because, of course, we have to look at that monomer. What is the monomer of nucleic acids? We'll write this down right over here. The monomer, uh, let me write that down again. The monomer is equal to what are known as nucleotides. So all we need to know for right now. We'll talk about the nucleotide structure later when we actually have our whole lecture devoted to nucleic acids, specifically DNA and RNA. Speaking of those, we have different classes of nucleic acids that you should know. Just know for right now that there's DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid. There's that name. There's where it comes from. And we also have RNA, ribonucleic acid. Just point that I want to mention is that the word DNA has this deoxyribose nucleic acid. I want you to notice that this is actually a combination of two different things. Of course we see nucleic acid, but what else do you see? What ending do you see that we talked about in our biological molecules lectures? Of course there's this OS ending. So just start thinking about that a little bit, that there's some sort of sugar component in DNA and also in ribonucleic acid. So deoxyribonucleic acid and ribonucleic acid both involve a sugar some way, some form, that we'll talk about a little bit later. So what's the function? What's the purpose of nucleic acids? It has probably the most important function possible. Nucleic acids transmit hereditary info. Fancy way of saying that they are the reason every single thing that happens in your body happens because they are, nucleic acids are, I like to consider them, the blueprint of life. Everything about your life is denoted, about your living being is denoted in your nucleic acids, in your DNA and RNA. They tell your body everything that needs to be done based on the environment, based on the genetics that you receive, based on the hereditary info that was transmitted. And, of course, one thing I just want to make sure we mention, we're going to learn a lot more later. You're going to learn a lot more about nucleic acids later. Don't get me wrong, I love nucleic acids, but this is all that you need to know in terms of biological molecules.